society is fucked up. You know, like they have us enslaved by money. They have us enslaved by this abstract concept that doesn't even exist. You know, you got people, people you know, going around saying, you know, man, I want the money, man. I don't care about nothing else but the money, just money. You know, we train our kids up to be like, a little Johnny, go to college so you can get a high paying job. You know, not once do we ever stop and think about, you know, happiness or health. We, they don't, no one really cares about that. We just care about money. It's a piece of paper, you know. We destroy the earth over money. We kill people over money, you know. Once everything gone, we, I mean, you can't, you can't eat money. You can't, you can't freaking hug. You can't hug and love and and be in a relationship with money. You can't you can't tell money your your life dreams and your hopes and everything. You know you can't build a, a emotional relationship with some money. You're just some pieces of paper that doesn't even exist. Just an abstract concept. It's like you know. Then they got people like that are socially engineered to think that money is the end all be all because the corporate elites have gained a monopoly on resources. So yeah, people being slaves for money. And you got people telling other people that if you don't work for another man that there's something wrong with you. And you have people with this idea, this notion that that it's about, you know, doing, being a productive member of society. When really it's not. It's just about money. Because you ask, no one wants to be a fucking carpenter. No one wants to be a fucking garbage man. No one wants to be a, a fucking... Uh, plumber nobody wants to be that you know they just make they pretty much force people to be those things it's like for the average Joe it's basically slavery but it's a different kind of slavery instead of saying you go pick the cotton or you go be a house uh, slave no they let you pick it so now you have the illusion of choice you have the illusion of choice you think you're you're you have the control over your life but when, when really you don't you're being controlled by a corporation you're being controlled by this industry of, of elites you know this oligarchy this corporate oligarchy you know it's really and they they got this they lying they're lying to you with this notion that it's about being a productive member of society like i said it's not because you ask the average joe they don't really want to be a fucking plumber or, or a carpenter or whatever the fuck they do they don't want to be that. They want to. They just want to have money. So, so if you if it's about being a productive member of society, then what is a person panhandling? What, what is he contributing to society? That's a pointless job. See, most of these jobs are just here for the sole purpose of creating a job. It's pointless. It's obsolete. It's the antithesis of progression. It's it's redundant. It's pointless. It's like. These jobs are, are not there. Like, we don't need these jobs. We have automation. We have technology. We have science. We don't need uh, 320 million people fucking working from 9 to 5 every fucking day for 60 years. That's fucking stupid. That's so fucking stupid. We can have automated farming everything. Automated cashiers. You know automated machines that build houses I mean we already have these things it's just about the the fact or it's, it's about if we actually choose to use them efficiently no but they the corporate elites they want to perpetuate this idea of you working for them you're you're my work slave you're my work slave that's what they want they, then they want you stupid you know, they, they don't want you to be smart and realize oh man I'm, I'm this person's slave no they want you stupid so that's why they, they have this corrupt 
fucked up education system to where it doesn't teach you to be intelligent, it doesn't teach you to critical think, it doesn't teach you to be a free thinker, it teaches you to be an obedient slave, an obedient slave. They want you to look for the confirmation to authority. And they see, in this society, think about it for one second. Don't you realize that in this society, being good is be, means being obedient, following the law, even though the law is just arbitrary. It's arbitrary. What, what, what is, just because somebody says, I'm the law, what, is that, what does that mean? You know? Just they, they said they're the law. I don't care. Like, that's pointless. Like, they, they have you thinking that being obedient, listening to another man is a good thing when it's really not. Blind obedience is stupid. It's ignorance. You know? So, you know, about the thing about about being a productive member of society like i said it's not about that it's, it's just about the money to the to to this society it's just about money if you ask a person what about a person that won the lottery what, what are they contributing to society nothing they just have paper they just have money and society by the the way in society, the way which society seems to judge us on, on our success is by the amount of this worthless piece of paper that we acquire. That's so stupid. You know, as we have, you know, you have these college graduates thinking that they're intelligent because they have this piece of paper, this expensive piece of paper that they paid thousands of dollars for, and they think they're smart because they basically pass something past the test of obedience no you're just an obedient slave you're just an obedient you're an obedient sheep because they're training you up why do you go to college to get a job and what is a job you're working for another man another human being just like you are so they want they're training you up to be obedient to your corporate master aka your boss they don't want you to be an individual thinker that actually thinks for yourself no this, this idea of money, it, got us, it has us all enslaved. All of us are enslaved by this idea of money. You know, this, you know, like, like I said, what is a, a person that won the lottery? What are they contributing? What are they contributing to society? They just have money. Because nobody actually wants to be a garbage man. No one wants to be that. You know, it's just they have you fooled they they tell you these fucking lies to pacify you to make you not realize that oh man I'm being a fucking slave so you won't try to overthrow them you know they got you thinking that being a obedient work slave and being stressed out and, and you know stressed and just depressed they got you thinking that that's a good thing you know, this, this shit is, this whole system is fucked. You know. They have, they have people thinking. And they have people ostracizing and criticizing other people for, for realizing that, yeah, this system is fucked. It's fucked up. And they have people, the slaves, criticize the, the free thinkers. And it's like, it's so ass backwards. It's bass backwards. It's so like people are fucking just stupid. They they're just ignorant. The average person doesn't even know any of this. It's like you know, money. You know, every person they want. You ask every person, I want to get rich. I want to get rich. I want to be. I want to uh, get money. Get money. Get money. So they'll be a slave for money. You you offer somebody a, a amount of money that they never had, they'll be your slave. You think they won't? Shit. Look around. You got people working for another man fucking doing fucking oh extremely hard work for little to shit pay. For 60 fucking years of their one life that they get, one fucking life of their precious years that they will never get back away from their families, away from their hopes and dreams. 
just for this fucking worthless piece of fucking paper. Worthless pieces of fucking paper that doesn't mean shit. These jobs are just here to fucking perpetuate corporate slavery, corporate master, mastership, mass fucking just, they want to fucking rule you. They want to rule you. You do what I say. 